Hi, it's Jason here and welcome to onyouryogamat.com and I'm really happy to be here to introduce the three-month Learn Ashtanga yoga course. So this course is designed over 13 weeks and after this brief introduction we're going to start with lesson one and take you through this Ashtanga based yoga system. And I'm going to be teaching you this course as it will traditionally be taught. That means from the beginning we start with the first sun salutation then we build on that, moving through the standing postures, the seated postures, and the finishing postures in what will eventually be a 90-minute Ashtanga Yoga practice. And the idea is that we're going to do this lesson once a week. So what we do here today, I'd encourage you, if you can, to repeat five times during the week, have a couple of days off. If you feel ready, then you can progress on to the next lesson. And it's a good idea from time to time just to come back and keep doing a little bit of a recap. But we're going to add on as we move through. So this first lesson is not going to be too long. I'm going to give you some basic instructions on the breath that we use to move us through the Sishtanga Yoga system. And we're going to learn the first sun salutation. So to begin with, we're going to spend a little bit of time sitting. It's got to be comfortable for you to sit just for a few more minutes. So if sitting like this feels okay, you can sit like this. But if this feels a little bit too much or you wanna just back off a little bit, or you could even have your legs out in front. You could also use a couple of books or blocks to sit on. So if we sit up like this, this makes us a little bit more comfortable because just takes the pressure off the knees and we have a little bit more space around the hips. Incidentally, one of the benefits of any yoga practice is to make sitting like this a little bit more comfortable over time. But in Ashtanga yoga, there's a breathing technique that we use to move us through. And the challenge is to employ this technique, this breathing technique, as we move through the physical practice. So we're going to just talk about this to begin with, and then we're going to learn the first sun salutation. If you wish, you could interlace your fingers in front of you. And you could just take your gaze down just off the front of the mat. It's important to feel comfortable here. If you need to readjust or move at any point, then you feel free to do so. So one of the benefits of a yoga practice is the physical postures and getting the benefits of moving through this system of yoga to develop strength, flexibility, there'll be postures for balance, postures where we twist, but the real benefit of any yoga practice is actually the quality of mind and really keeping our attention turned inwards as we move through the various postures. So you could think of this a little bit like a breathing exercise or if you like a meditation in motion. And we use the breath to keep our attention turned in. This helps just step away from what sometimes seems to be like just a constant stream of thinking all day long. From the moment we wake up, from the moment we go to bed at night, we're thinking about this, we're thinking about that, the future, the past. And in a yoga practice, we aim just to be a little bit more centered in the present. So we use the breath as an anchor to keep us there. So to begin with, I just simply want you to be aware of your breath. However you breathe in, however you breathe out. Just let the breath come and go naturally to begin with. You might feel some sense of expansion as you breathe in. That's the air entering the body. And contraction as you breathe out or release as you exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. A little bit more specifically in this Ashtanga Yoga, we aim to keep the mouth gently closed and continue to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. That might subtly change the quality of this breath, but can you keep your awareness tuned in to how it feels like to keep breathing in and out? Taking this one step further, we see if we can increase the next inhalation you take, make it a little bit longer, and match that with a slightly longer breath out. 
This is going to feel like you're breathing longer, deeper breaths than your normal everyday breathing. That's when the body's just on autopilot. This is the real challenge then. It's almost a distraction to your mind. If you can really keep remembering to breathe these longer, deeper breaths in through the nose and out through the nose, then this is a way of being a little bit more present, being more in the body. So a few more breaths here. And as we breathe, remembering to keep the face nice and relaxed, mouth gently closed, smooth breath in through the nose, smooth breath out through the nose. From time to time, just notice where your attention is. Sometimes it will wander away. Just keep bringing it back. Smooth breath in, smooth breath out. Next step, one more thing. As much as we can, just to imagine we are supporting this full deep breathing with a little bit of awareness to our abdomen. And if you want to try this out, you can take a couple of fingers from each hand or just one hand and place them around that area. Over time, we aim to cultivate a little bit more stillness around this area here. Now, to begin with, if it feels like this is moving a bit, that's no problem. But if you imagine someone's about to give you a playful little punch in the tummy, and what you would do to anticipate that, now that would probably be too much, because realistically, we're not going to be able to keep this crunched up like this. But we can just cultivate a pleasant awareness, just some firmness to the abdomen. And if we can feel, to begin with, just a little bit of stillness here, it's going to divert the air a little bit further up here, which is what we want. So if this air is a little stiller down here, and we breathe in through the nose, it might feel a little bit more like the rib cage is expanding as the lungs fill up full of air. And as we exhale, emptying the lungs. Now this is the work in progress. And from time to time, I'm going to encourage you just to come back and check in and see how you're doing here. You could, if you like, imagine this as what dancers, athletes, gymnasts refer to as their core strength. In yoga, it's just called something different, Uddiyana Bandha, but some sense of a little bit of control here. So we feel we're supporting the full deep breathing. And this is a fairly challenging physical yoga practice. So it makes sense to really keep fueling the body with oxygen as we breathe in, fill the lungs, and as we breathe out. And as I say, if your tummy is moving a little bit, there's nothing particularly wrong with that, but over time, aiming just to keep this a little bit stiller. We're gonna spend just a few more breaths here. The name of this breath, this breathing technique used in Ashtanga Yoga is called Ujjayi breath, and that means sound breath. So over time, you can start to subtly hear the air as you breathe in through the nose and as you breathe out through the nose. Now again, you don't have to force anything here. This is just something that may happen over time, but we're going to spend just a few more breaths here. In fact, all of the postures we're going to be in, most of the postures in this Ashtanga Yoga Primary Series are held for five of these full deep breaths. If you need to reset, you can always recross your legs, reposition your hands, make sure the shoulders are relaxed, make sure it feels comfortable to sit like this, just however you're sitting, that's on a block, a book, and then gently gazing down. And we're gonna breathe in through the nose, Try and feel the lungs filling with air. We're going to breathe out through the nose, empty the lungs, and that's one round of this full deep breathing. Again, smooth breath in through the nose, smooth breath out through the nose. It's two. Continue to breathe as you inhale, exhale. It's three. So notice where your attention is. You want to try and aim to keep it on the breath as you take your next breath in. Just really feel that sensation of that inhalation. And then your next exhalation. Completely breathe out. It's four. Smooth breath in. And gently breathing out through the nose. It's five. 
that lasts approximately 30 seconds, half a minute. And that's how long we were going to be in all of these postures as we progressively learn this system of yoga. The challenge is to be fairly still in the postures, just as we were sitting still there, but maintaining this awareness to the breath. So you can imagine linking the postures and the breath, the stillness of the postures linked to the still steady quality of awareness to the breath. And that's the real challenge and that's what sets yoga aside from other types of exercise. And just before we begin learning the first sun citation, the challenge is that this is going to come from a place of not forcing anything. That place when we were just sitting for five breaths, just really tuned into the breath, feeling comfortable, that's where we want to approach all of the postures from this series of yoga. So remembering on different days, we might feel a little bit different. Maybe we've got a busy week. We're just going to be gentle. This is all about direction of movement. So these postures unfold over a period of time and they will unfold well beyond the three months if you stay with this course. So I've been doing yoga over 10 years and still things are changing or I'm finding a little bit further to go in each of these postures. So just be patient. This is your yoga practice and we're going to come up to standing now to begin Surya Namaskara A. This is the A sun salutation. So as we come up to standing, ready for the sun salutation, this is Surya Namaskara A. We check that the feet are facing forward, fairly close to the front of the mat, a little bit of space at the front of the mat to put our hands down in a moment, plenty of space behind us to step the feet back. But as we stand, we make sure we feel the toes spread into the mat and the heels gently down behind us. So we have this nice even distribution of weight going downwards. We can have our hands by our sides and the palms are facing in and the shoulders are relaxed and we're looking straight ahead. We're double checking that we're breathing these full deep breaths we talked about when we were sitting. Just a gentle awareness to your abdomen is enough to make sure as you breathe in through the nose, you get some sense the lungs are being filled up full of air. And as you breathe out through the nose with the mouth gently closed, empty the lungs. When we start moving around, this is a fairly challenging physical dynamic yoga practice. So keep fueling the body with oxygen as you breathe in, emptying the lungs as you breathe out. Make sure as we start to move that the breath is the most important thing. If you need to stop, if it becomes a little bit too much, just take a breather, sit down, you can always pause and then come back when you're ready. I'm going to start then the movements of the sun salutation. This begins this traditional sequence of Ashtanga Yoga and we begin by gently reaching the arms up, relaxing the shoulders, looking up to our palms which are now facing each other. And as we breathe out, we exhale and take the hands to the side. So we begin coordinating the breath and the movement. Smooth breath in, reach the arms up, gently look up, smooth breath out, hands by sides, looking straight ahead. One more time. Keep the shoulders relaxed and the arms active. Inhale, the fingertips lift. Might begin with that your hands are a little way out in front of you, that's fine. Over time, a little bit further upwards, but take that easy on the neck as you look up. Exhale, hands to sides, looking straight ahead. Next extra step. Breathe in, reach the arms up. As we breathe out, we're going down a little bit. We're going to soften the knees and can we reach our hands just to our shins and let the head hang, looking down just in front of the feet. We're going to breathe in, going to come back up, reach the arms up, keep the fingers lifting, palms are facing each other, exhale, hands to sides. So we're adding on an extra step and we're going to repeat what we've just done. Smooth breath in, reach the fingers up, smooth breath out through the nose, keep the face relaxed, hands down to your shins, let the head hang, press gently into the feet, inhale, reach the arms back up, looking up to our palms, Exhale, hands to sides. And one more movement. Inhale, gently looking up. Fingers go up towards the ceiling. Exhale, and soften the knees, especially if you feel on the hamstrings, just to put your hands on your shins. A little bit further down might be the ankles, but just let the head hang. But we stay low from here, and all we're going to do is inhale, lift the gaze, look slightly forwards. And then as we breathe out, we're going to look back down, let the head hang. Then we're going to inhale, press into the feet, Reach the arms up, gazing up to fingers, exhale, hands to sides. Good. One more time just to repeat that. This is the beginning and the end of this first sun salutation. 
Smooth breath in, reach the arms up, smooth breath out, gently take into hands to the shins or the ankles, let the head hang, breathe in, lift the gaze, roll the shoulders back, look slightly forwards. As you breathe out, let the head hang, keep the knees bent if you need to, just relax the shoulders, inhale, but press the feet into the ground, keep reaching the arms up, fingertips extend upwards, exhale, hands to sides. The middle bit of the sun salutation is now to step back. We're going to take a modification for the first two of these sun salutations and step back into cat posture and then a little bit further to go back in the third and onwards sun salutations. So just take a little bit steadier just to get the concept of stepping back to begin with. And I'm going to talk you through it so if you can do it at the same time, we breathe in, reach the fingers up, gently look up. As we breathe out, fall down, hands wherever feel appropriate, just let the head hang. We breathe in, we stay low, we lift the gaze, look up. Then we're going to bend the knees more so we can put the hands down in front of us with the fingers spread and step the feet back one at a time, gently coming down onto our knees with the toes behind us. This is cat posture. Modification, as I said, with the knees just a little way apart and the feet back behind you. Approximately your shoulders are above your wrists and your hips above your knees. We inhale and we lift the chest, roll the shoulders back and look forwards. And exhale, just let the head hang again. I'm going to try that one more time. Feels like as you breathe in, your tummy is going down. Roll the shoulders back, just look forwards, make sure that feels okay everywhere. And then this time, we're going to tuck the toes, press into the hands, and this is going to take us back to our downward facing dog. Now to begin with, it might just be an effort to get this far. As much as you can, try and relax the head so you're looking back to your toes. The knees can be bent and over time we can work those legs a little bit straighter to keep the fingers spread into the mat behind your head. We are going to be here for five breaths eventually in these sun salutations, but we're going to just do one more breath for now just to get used to this movement, try and keep lifting the hips, relax the shoulders. And then as we look forward to the hands, a couple of steps, whatever it takes, we aim to get the feet back to the front of the mat, stay low. Look up, you might want to put your hands back on your shins or your ankles. So this is the end now. Gently breathing out, let the head hang, look down to your toes. Inhale, press into the feet, relax your shoulders, arms go up, fingers extend, and then exhale, hands to sides. So that essentially was a sun salutation. We're going to repeat that one more time. Keep breathing. That's the most important thing we're doing. Keep breathing these full deep breaths. So, inhale, Reach the arms up, lift the fingers up towards the ceiling, space around the shoulders. As we exhale, soften the knees as much as we need to, just to put the hands on the shins or the ankles, just let the head hang. Breathe in, stay low, try and lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, look slightly forwards. You need to bend the knees as much as we can to place the fingers nice and wide on the mat and step the feet about two thirds of the way back, gently coming down onto our knees with the toes behind. We breathe in, we lift the chest, and roll the shoulders back. Imagine the tummy going down a little. And then tucking the toes, press into the toes, activate the legs, send the hips up and back. Keep the fingers spread into the mat behind your head and moving back into a second down facing dog. We're going to be here for five breaths. That's already one. This is our first posture. So it's important to keep breathing here. Two. Try and feel the neck completely free and the head is simply hanging. Four. If it becomes too much, no problem just to come down onto your knees at any point. That's okay. Just take a breather there. But wherever we were, we're going to inhale, look back up to the hands. A couple of steps. We're going to try and get the feet a bit closer in. You can keep the hands down there if you wish or just put them back on your shins or ankles. Look forwards. Exhale, gently falling down. Let the head hang. Inhale, press into the feet. Space around the shoulders, gazing up to our palms. Exhale, hands to sides. Okay, so keep breathing. We've got three more to do. We're going to step the feet further back in this third variation for the cobra and eventually working towards the upward facing dog. So I'll talk you through it again. If that's too much, you can always do the cat again. So I'll tell you when we get there. Inhale, reaching the arms up, gently looking up. Exhale, folding down. Whatever feels appropriate, let the head hang. Smooth breath in, stay low, lift the gaze, roll the shoulders back. We bend the knees, we place the hands down with the fingers spread and step the feet a little bit further back. 
keeping the body strong, knees down, elbows in, and we press to gently lower down onto our front with the toes behind us. So from down on the ground here, lifting the chest, rolling the shoulders back, very similar to cat, but this is actually cobra now. And if you needed to do cat here, that's no problem because it's a little bit more challenging to tuck the toes and from here, pressing back to our third downward facing dog. Try and feel the head completely free. You'll notice now that the feet are just a little way apart, but facing forwards. Over time, the heels are drifting a little bit further down towards the mat behind us. Keep the arms nice and active. Remember that option if you need to be here or come down onto your knees. It's important though not to slide forward into your plank. We need to keep going this way, even if we need to bend the knees. Holding that for one more breath. And then a couple of steps, whatever it takes. Feet back to the front. Feet can be close or a little way apart, whatever feels okay. You can replace the hands on shins or ankles. Look up, breathe out, gently falling down, let the head hang. Smooth breath in, press into the feet. Space around the shoulders, gazing up, looking up to our palms. Exhale, hands to sides. Two more to go. Keep breathing. Smooth breath in, reaching the arms up, palms are facing. As we exhale, soften the knees, gently take the hands down to shins or ankles, let the head hang. Breathe in, lift the chest, stay low, and keep the knees soft if you need to, just look forwards. Bend the knees more though, it's important the fingers are spread and the palms are down to step the feet. Back, feet a little way apart now. Gravity is probably going to take over. Knees down, elbows and press into the mat to gently lower down. On the tops of the feet, use the hands and the fingers spread a little bit just to stabilize yourself as you lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, take that easy on the neck and then tuck in the toes, press into the feet, down facing dog. Now this is new to you, then this down facing dog might just be a little bit too much and it's far better just to come back to here and breathe five steady breaths. You can always take the time as you move through this practice to find the stamina to hold more of these down facing dogs. If you are holding it, just a few more breaths. It's three, four, and five. We breathe in, we get the feet a little bit further to the front, as close if that's possible with the toes spread, stay low. Keep the hands down there, look up. Exhale, gently folding down, just let the head hang. Inhale, press into the feet. As the feet press down, reach the fingertips up, but it's important to try and feel a bit of space around the shoulders. So we want to avoid the shoulders being too close to the ears. And then exhale, hands to the sides, palms facing in. Last one. Smooth breath in, press into the feet to reach the arms up. Exhale, falling down, let the head hang. Breathe in, lift the gaze, roll the shoulders back, look forwards. So we breathe out, bending the knees. Fingers spread. If you need to step back into cat here, no problem. Challenge eventually a little bit further back. And from this position here, knees down, elbows in, all the way down onto our fronts. On the tops of the feet, as far as feels appropriate, just lift the chest. But again, shoulders back away from the ears as we look gently up. And then exhale, gently rolling back over the knees. Press into the toes. Keep the body nice and strong. Feel that space around the shoulders. You can't see your fingers, but feel them spread nice and wide to the mat behind the head. Soften the knees if you need to, but we're trying to move our chest towards the toes. Keep the hips lifting. A couple more breaths here is four. And five. We breathe in. We walk the feet towards the front. Close together if you can. Stay low with the hands, look up. Exhale, gently falling down, let the head hang. So wherever feels appropriate, nice and easy on the hamstrings to inhale. Strong legs now, press to the feet. Reach the arms back up, looking up to our palms. Exhale, hands to sides. Well done. From the beginning, this practice starts with five sun salutations. We're going to move right to the end of the practice and do one of the last seated postures. This is for 10 breaths. We're going to just bend the knees and come down to sitting. And as we did at the beginning, you might want to, to begin with, use a block or two to sit on. Just however it feels comfortable for now, just to cross the ankles. Make sure the knees feel stable, space around the hips. We're just going to place our hands on our knees, palms down. And we're going to just gently take our gaze down to the front of the mat. Keep the shoulders relaxed, face relaxed, mouth gently closed. That's already one breath. Try and find that steadiness and awareness to the breath as you inhale. Exhale is two. three, 
So in this seated posture, one of the key postures of any yoga practice, where we aim to match the stillness of this posture with that steady awareness to your breath. So again, just keeping the attention turned inwards. Immerse yourself in the sensation of what it feels like to breathe in and breathe out. And that's already five breaths. And six. Smooth breath in. And out is seven. Eight. Nine. One last long breath. Fill the lungs as you inhale. Empty the lungs as you exhale. It's ten. Just lifting the gaze. And the final posture in the Sashtanga Yoga series, as in most yoga sequences, is Shavasana, relaxation. So we're going to gently uncross the legs. We take the feet nice and wide. We let the heels be on the edge of the mat. And as we support ourselves to lie down, the feet can just drift off to the side. Back of the hands off the mat, palms up towards the ceiling. Back of the head gently on the mat. Just completely let go here with the eyes closed. Let go of the full deep breathing we talked about. Just let the abdomen be soft. Just let the tummy rise and fall as you breathe in and out. Relax the muscles in the shoulders, the arms, the legs. Just relax every single part of the body. And just breathe however feels comfortable for you to breathe. And if you wish, that could be with the mouth slightly open. That helps cultivate a nice sense of space around the jaw and down the back of the throat. Keep the face completely relaxed, forehead soft, eyelids heavy. Imagine you're just melting into the ground. You can spend just a few more moments here. But this posture, Shavasana, is just as important as all the other postures we've done. So can you find some balance between the stillness of this posture of this physical posture and the still quality of your mind. Even if it's just for a few moments at a time, a mind that has stepped away from a constant stream of non-stop thinking. So this yoga practice, as well as the benefits of the physical postures, helps us find this quieter, calmer, more tranquil place. That place between your last thought and your next thought. And then gently bring some awareness back to the fingers and the toes. Move the hands and the feet. We can relax the shoulders, lift the arms up, take them back behind us, back of the hands, the elbows bent just behind the head. If you can straighten the arms a little bit more, you can bring the feet together, you can breathe in. So you feel this nice extension all the way through the length of the body. And then as you exhale, just release, bending the knees. You can reach your fingers just below the knees. You can start to open up the eyes in this nice curled up shape, gently rolling onto your right side. It's using your right arm to support you. Just pause there for a moment. And then just getting your bearings, straightening out that left leg. You can use your left hand to support you. I'm just going to come up to sitting for a nice, easy seated cross leg position, whatever feels comfortable. So well done for getting through lesson one, this 13 week, three month learning Ashtanga yoga course. And we're going to build on this lesson every week. So in lesson two, we're going to learn how to do the B sun salutation. There's a second sun salutation, but we'll additionally do the five A sun salutations that we learned today. So what's important is if you've got some time this week to practice at least four or five times this lesson, these five sun salutations, you can become a little bit more familiar with them. There's a PDF guide with some alternatives and these laid out so you could see them in front of you and see how you get on.
If you've got any comments or questions, you can email me. You can get in touch through the website. And I hope you have a great week. Keep practicing. Spend a little bit of time every day on your yoga mat. If you're out on YouTube, then these lessons are released every week. So the 13 weeks take three months. But there's a good chance if you're watching this that that's already happened. And you can, whenever you're ready, dive in, find lesson two, and keep moving through. So it's been a pleasure taking you through this first lesson. And I'll see you next time on your yoga mat. Bye.